I just got to this Target. Oh my goodness, look at that. They're freshly restocked. They got mosaic basketball, tops chrome. They got prism, cellos. Doesn't look like they have mosaic. Got a bunch of Pokemon as well. Crown Zenith, that stuff is good. If you guys are into Pokemon, that stuff is good right here. Good stuff, but they got Digimon. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna get. I'll see. I'll let you guys know what I grab. Oh, they even got these little packs right here. Somebody was over here trying to steal Pokemon cards. Let's put that back over here. Mm, we'll see. We'll see what we get. Maybe some supplies. I wanted to get one of these, but I think I'm gonna wait for DGen Rips to open this up. <laughs> They got more of these Pop Century. Bits. I was in such a good mood. FedEx ruined my day, bro. Man. So, FedEx Ground should be its own entity. I've been saying that since I used to work at FedEx Express. FedEx Ground sucks. I hate FedEx Ground. It's the worst. Um, FedEx Ground, FedEx Express is really good, but FedEx Ground... Pff, my cards were supposed to get there today and they're delayed now. <laughs> they don't have anything, anything I want. Seven bucks, it's not bad. Digimon, but nope, nothing. I yeah, I've been waiting for my cards for a minute and I think I have to go pick them up now. <laughs> oh, FedEx scrap, the worst, the worst. I think from now on, I'm gonna request PSA to ship through USPS only because, dude, I can't be dealing with this stuff. All right, here you go, everybody. We got more sports cards. We got a bunch of series one that nobody wants to take. But it looks like they took the hanger boxes. Those are gone. We have more score looks like all them we got mosaic baseball <laughs> um i'm not gonna lie i'm probably gonna take one of these yeah that's about it what's this today was successful besides the fact that my psa cards didn't get delivered <laughs> uh a lot of restocks but all i grabbed was a blaster box make a short out of this um passed on everything else just this is the only stuff i wanted <laughs> so it's snowing it's pretty crazy i know this day yeah 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 <laughs> it's here it's here what's going on everybody so i'm back with a brand new rip and it's finally here my 2023 top series one hobby box and i couldn't be more excited i've been waiting for this for feels like a month now um i bought it off fanatics on the day of release and it just got here um, yesterday i'm opening it the day after so i got here on a saturday and it just it took long it took long to get here i did the free free shipping <laughs> which i said i was never gonna do but look at me i don't learn from my mistakes put this right here get that little silver pack right there and i'm excited to open up hobby simply because everybody's been raving about it everybody's been talking about how good hobby is not just the hump the not just the jumbos but the regular hobby boxes as well they've been pretty pretty good from what i've seen on youtube the jumbos are just packed they're jam-packed with stuff and some of the some of the hobbies are packed as well but mostly it's the jumbos hopefully we get a good box I mean, um i'm excited to open this up like i said it's my my first hobby box opening i haven't opened up a hobby hobby of this i've opened up retail as you guys might have seen in, in the previous videos i did get a pretty good hanger box um nothing crazy i did just get a, a relic that was numbered to 
199, which was pretty good. But like I said, nothing to, you know, clamor home about. But this should be good. There should be at least one numbered card in here. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. But we got Oswaldo Perraza. That's a good rookie to get. Um, are any of you guys taking advantage of the um, of the nine dollar grading that SGC had? I know it's probably going to be over in uh, at the end of the month. I, I believe it ends. Um, but if you can send some cards in for nine bucks, I believe you can make some profit. Uh, we got Michael Michael Massey. Zach Davies, Hassan Kim, we got a Graham Ashcraft, Sandy Alcantara, nice little insert right there. We got Trevor Rogers, Sam Mole, Jordan Montgomery, and Josh Smith. Uh, I'm excited. Baseball's baseball's on. It's, it's already started. Uh, we've had a few spring training games already. The uh, Angels did win their first game. Uh, looks like we have a relic here, so no auto. Maybe we, we can get an auto out of our relic. We got Steel Walker, Tim Anderson, G-Man Choi, Mookie Betts, JT Realmuto. We got Zach Thompson, and then let's go from the back. We got Zaya Kinner Falefa, Josh Winkowski, Seth Beer, JT Brubaker. And our relic is going to be, oh, let's go, baby. Ronald Acuna. I will take that. That's a beautiful card right there. Game used, memorabilia. I mean, like I say all the time, if you're going to get a hit, it's better to get a superstar hit than a no-name or not a no-name, but, you know, some one of the lower, lower-tiered guys. Uh, I, I really like Ronald Acuna. I think he's going to have a great year. Um, but you never know. I mean, I hope he, he can stay healthy. He should be healthy. He had all last year to recover. I know last year he played, but he wasn't a hundred percent. You could tell that he was still struggling, struggling with some injuries. We got Bobby Witt. I mean, that, that injury that he had was, was a pretty serious injury. So, uh, I know it's going to take time for him to, to get back to 100%. We got Aaron Ashby. Uh, I, I like these cards, the greatest hits, Bryce Harper. 2022 nice card right there we got brandon hughes on <laughs> there you go ronald acuna pretty nice card right there blake snell lenny sosa miguel cabrera hopefully we get a nice uh, ronald acuna parallel would be sweet i would add that to the i would add that to the grab bags but i believe i already sold them we got Juan Soto in the San Diego Padres uniform. Bryce Harper. Hopefully he comes back healthy. Brad Keller. Roberto Perez. Adrian Hauser. Cal Rally. And then our first backwards card is going to be Liam Hendricks. And don't know why this is backwards. Oh, Rainbow Foil. Liam Hendricks. Put that right there. Uh, Kyle Bradish. Brady Singer. Seth Lugo and Jesus Sanchez. All right, next pack. We got Derek Hall. Uh, so what what is the, what has been the best hit that you guys have gotten out of this? I'm curious. Have you guys been opening up any retail? If you guys have opened up retail, what's the best hit out of retail you got? Uh, you guys saw my best hit out of retail, and that's probably going to be the only retail that I open up. Probably not going to open up too much more of it. Um, I might open up a few more hangers off camera. I don't know. It just depends on if there's anything else for me to open. If not, I'll give it another shot. Um, I did get pretty lucky last year. We got my, uh, my first Gunner Henderson. I'll put him up here. That is one of the... The chase of this year. We got a nice Julio, Evan Lee, Raciel Iglesias, and then oh, that's this is a sweet card right here. A Judge Trout and Alvarez numbered to 72. Wow, what a card. My PC right there. 
and then one of the greatest in the game right now, Aaron Judge, and then a very underrated um, Jordan Alvarez. The dude is a stud, and he does not get the respect that he deserves. We got a Michael Harris, the second, who is also another good rookie. Put him up there. I'm probably going to send some cards out to SGC before the... Um, before the time period ends, before the $9 submission um, ends, simply because I believe there's there's a lot of value. And, you know, I would love to give some graded cards away, but sometimes they're just a little too expensive to get graded. So why not try to send some to SGC, get those graded, and then I can give them away to you guys. I got a nice Mike Trout for the PC, put him up there with his buddy. And then we got Alec Bohm. And then another backwards card. This is going to be a rainbow foil of Verlander, Valdez, and Manoa. Pulled his auto. Um, I believe it was yesterday or uh, yesterday's video. I pulled his autograph. Put that right there. Well, I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but I did just pull his auto this week. We got a Max Freed. Everybody's clamoring about these... Um, these uh, aces cards and panini did, panini actually came out with these uh, a similar set the aces card and they look beautiful so i believe that tops saw them and they were like you know what we need to have that in our set and i'm glad they did i like the rounded corners um edges i should say can't really call a corner round <laughs> um but yeah the panini ones look great they look great in parallels not sure if you can get the aces in parallels but if you can i'm pretty sure they look sweet uh, or even with an auto on there if they come uh, with autographs we got garrett cole ethan small so who do you guys think is going to be this year's cy young uh, early picks leave them down leave them in the comments down below who do you think is going to be your early pick for the cy young um for al or nl or both what do you guys think leave a comment down below um i honestly i don't know i think alec manoa has a good chance to to get the a cy young this year he's been pitching lights out but like you know like any other year as long as these guys can stay healthy uh that's what's important john birdie we got hunter green we got a nice max scherzer Dude's always in the running for a Cy Young, one of the, the studs. This is the first time I see the C.J. Abrams uh, in his Nationals uniform. It's funny because they have the same um, picture in, um, I believe, the holiday, the Topps holiday. And I got his candy cane sleeve that is in the, uh, in the grab bag as well. I wanted to keep it, but um, I already kept all the Tatis cards. <laughs> So I don't want to keep the, the nice hits out of the San Diego Padres packs. We got a Vladdy Daddy right there. We got a nice Luis Robert. Um, Eric Lauer. Uh, Brandon Marsh. Oh, Brandon Marsh, man. I can't believe the Angels traded this man. He is a, he's a stud. I know he's a little bit older, but he's, he's pretty good, pretty decent. He had a good um, run in the World Series. Happy for him. I was rooting for him. Hoping he would get his uh, World Series ring. We got Marcelo Suna, not the greatest person in the world. Uh, Kyle Stowers and then uh, Taylor Ward should be poised for another great year this year. Last year he had an amazing year with the Halos, and I hope he can he can continue that this year. The Halos, oh man, I just I don't know. They start off real good and then they fall off. Um, happens almost every year. They play well, and then they just let me down. <laughs> we got a nice Riley Riley Green right there. Rookie with um, Miguel Cabrera. We got George Brett, the 2020 club. Kyle Gibson, Brian Bello, Keegan Thompson, um, and Ryan Helsey. Let me see. Did I miss any rookies? All right. So, so far, uh, one number card, great number card. I'm not going to complain about it. And I think that would look sweet in an SGC slab. We got Gerard Encarnacion. Um, who's a guy that you guys are targeting this year? 
uh, what rookie are you guys going to be going after? Speaking of Riley Green, we got him right there. Um, there's a guy from Atlanta that I forget his name and I have his card somewhere. Oscar Gonzalez for the Guardians. Um, that's the guy that I'm going to be targeting. I hope not a lot of people go after him, but I was looking at some of his stats and some of his highlights from last year. And this dude is a stud. The dude is pretty good. And a lot of people... Uh, a lot of Chicago White Sox fans, Cub fans, um, they say that he's going to be a problem in the future. So he's a guy that I'm looking out for. Uh, I'm not going to pay, you know, crazy amount of money on his cards. We got JJ Blade, but he's a guy that is on my radar for sure. We got Alex Verdugo, Tyler O'Neill, uh, Vaughn Grisham. This is the, the guy that um, that Striker Breaks is after. He's after a Vaughn. We'll put him on the stand. Austin Meadows, Christian Vasquez, Dylan Bundy, uh, Gary Sanchez, and Trevor Larnick. So there's a lot of people uh, after many different guys. Um, so yeah, I would love to know who are you guys after? What rookie are you chasing? What rookie do you hope to get parallels out of? Obviously, Gunnar Henderson, if I get any of his parallels, I'm going straight to eBay on <laughs> for those. Uh, not a guy that I'm going to be collecting, uh, Gavin Lux, but I wouldn't be mad if we pulled a parallel of his. We got Dominic Leon, Matt Duffy, a one-two punch, um, Max Scherzer and Steven Strasburg. This definitely was a one-two punch for one year. The one year that Strasburg was uh, healthy. He, man, that guy, he got a, the deal of his lifetime and... He just hasn't held up his side of the bargain. That deal has just been proven to be horrible for the Nationals, unfortunately. You hate to see it because he was so good. And it sucks that we can't get to see a talent like his on the on the, on the the diamond. We got Nolan Gorman, another guy that people are after. Put him up there. And then this is going to be a Luis Garcia for the Nationals, a gold Nice little gold. Uh, 2023. You can barely see it right there. There you go. 2023. Got a nice gold card. Got to get 15 hangers. Got to buy 15 hangers to get one of those. <laughs> those are the odds in retail. Um, so far, honestly, hobby seems like it's the way to go. Um, I mean, one box, 80 bucks. Uh, Stripe, Striker Breaks did a great video on retail the um you know, the price per card for hobby retail he broke it all down the dude that dude has he has a skill i'll tell you that striker breaks is very good and actually this is the guy that i was talking about for the guardians oscar gonzalez we'll put him up there gonna send him out to sgc uh we got bo bichette nice little bow card right there uh we got the San Diego Padres Wild West teammates celebrate a walk off. Um, I'm excited. I believe the Padres play the Angels this year in San Diego. So I might go down to San Diego and open up some packs. Uh, maybe some buy some hobby packs and open them up at the Padres Stadium. Uh, I really want to get out there. Uh, I love the Padres. Some of you guys may know. You know that's why I love Tatis. Uh, I love my halos, but they suck. <laughs> so I can't get too excited about a team that just does absolutely nothing every year. We got a nice Marcus Wilson. So we're almost done. We got about one, two, three, four. We got about six packs left. We've had two numbered cards. We still got our silver pack to go. Hit some nice uh, PC cards. We got a nice uh, Mark Oscar Gonzalez for the guardians um kind of what i wanted out of this box we got jonathan aranda hopefully we get a some rookie color out of this i wouldn't mind we got corbin burks corbin burns on the aces card again one of the good looking inserts of this set i might look into trying to collect that that, that whole set uh, i believe otani has one i believe i'm not sure but if he does that's the one I'm going to be buying. We got Davis Martin, Christian Yelich, Jeter Downs. We got a nice Mark Appel, Max Stassi, David Villar, 
for the Giants. Uh, we got Yusei Kokochi. <laughs> Four more packs. So yeah, I got this box from Fanatics. They shipped it very, very nice. They shipped it nicer than how <laughs> Target ships their stuff. We got a nice Wonder Franco. <laughs> oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be sad to uh, stop saying that he's no longer a rookie, so I can't I can't say it too much. Uh, not as much as I say Fernando Tatis, of course. We got a Greg Maddox. Speaking of Fernando, we haven't seen a Fernando. Hopefully, we get some big card out of the last three packs it's been a little quiet haven't had a rainbow uh nothing backwards yet uh those ssps man those things are beautiful they're really good looking cards going for some decent money right now and we got a home run challenge of there you go mike trout home run challenge last year i got one of his uh home run challenge cards um, guess the game correctly and then we do have a Tr Tristan McKenzie I believe this is going to be a rainbow foil Tristan McKenzie Dr. Sticks the dude throws heat and he is a stick I don't know where he gets the power from but man that dude can throw some 100 mile per hour balls uh, were you guys able to get any home run challenge last uh were you guys able to get any home run challenge cards last year? Um, I was able to get like five. I got pretty lucky, honestly. Onio Cruz, the uh, welcome to the 3030 club right there. Mike Trout. Uh, I do have a tripe. Uh, I do have a trout binder that I put all my base Mike Trout cards in. Uh, so those will be going in there. Uh, even after I scratch off the home run challenge card, I do end up putting. Um, those cards in the binder all right we got the last pack we got bo brieski dardo escobar christopher morel you got paul blackburn gabriel moreno and there you go adley rutschman this is my first one adley rutschman i don't know how to say it my hispanic side is showing <laughs> we got aaron judge we got a Ivan Herrera, Seth Brown, Buddy Kennedy, uh, Caleb Killian, the Dodgers team card, and Nationals team card, and then the AL wins leader card, Verlander, Valdez, and Manoa. So not too bad. We will open up the silver pack. I almost forgot that we had that. I'm not even going to lie. So we got our silver pack right here. Hopefully we end with a bang. Let's go, baby. All right, we got four four cards in this little pack right here. I almost knocked over the whole stack. <laughs> we got a nice Luis Robert. This is my first time seeing these. These are beautiful. We got a Joy Votto, Joy Meneses, uh, Reese Hoskins. That's what we're going to end the break on. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave the video a like. Stay lively.